you. Hello friends and my respected teachers. My name is Neil Soni. So today we are going to do a skit on the golden touch. There are four characters in the skit. Navya is going to play the role of the figure. Nishtha is going to play the role of the daughter. Parth is going to play the role of King Vedas. And I am going to narrate the story. So let's begin. Once there was a king named Dumidas. He was very rich. He has many palaces and a large kingdom. But still was unhappy. One day, suddenly, a strange figure appeared in his room. It looked like flames all around it. Then, the figure and King Midas have conversation. Oh, figure, please tell me. Who are you and why are you here? King Midas, you have been a good king, a good man and a good father. I am very happy with you. And today, I will make your one wish come true. So, tell me what your wish is. Oh, figure, please grant me a boon. That whatever I touch will, will turn in gold. Wish granted. King Midas was very happy. He touched his throne and it turned into gold. He touched his chair table and everything and everything turned into gold. He thought that now he has become the richest person in the world. But when he was going to have dinner, as soon as he touched his dinner, it turned into gold. Oh no! Now what will I eat? Whatever I am touching is turning into gold. Now I will not be able to eat anything. When the king was thinking of all these, suddenly his daughter came. Hello, father. Today I have made a painting. Can I show you? Come with me. As soon as she touched his father, she turned into gold of sta statue of gold. Oh no, no! I don't want any more gold. I want my dear daughter back. I beg of you, figure. Please take away your gold. Oh my dear king, this is magical water. If you sprinkle this water on everything that you turned into gold, will come back into its original form. King Midas was very happy. He sprinkled the magical water into everything and everything came back into its original form. He got his dear daughter back. He was very much happy. So, the moral of the story is to not be greedy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.